Hey everybody, I'm Michael on the success team here at Gem. And today I'm gonna to walk through some power user demos across a few different topics. So let's dive into it. So the three power user demos we're gonna go through today, one is gonna be focused on Gem AI. So leveraging AI to accelerate processes for creating sequences, uh, screening inbound applicants, and also building Boolean strings for rediscovering candidates. That demo is gonna be most useful for recruiters and sourcers. From there, we're gonna walk through some nurture automations, which allows you to more easily rediscover silver medalists in your ATS and other qualified prospects that you've already reached out to in the past for ongoing nurture. This particular demo is gonna also be useful for recruiters and sourcers, but also for rec ops professionals that are building talent pools for their team. Finally, we're gonna dive into an analytics demo that's focused on custom groupings, which gives you more reporting flexibility. This is gonna be especially impactful for rec ops professionals, but also for TA leadership. So let's go ahead and dive into the screen share and we'll start walking through the demos. All right, so we're gonna start with Gem AI. One of the areas that Gem AI is most impactful is helping, to, helping sourcers or recruiters with messaging templates. One of the hardest parts about getting started when you're doing prospecting is that blank page staring at you. So we tried to make this easier when you're creating sequences. So you'll see here at the top of the sequence builder, there's this option to create a sequence template with Gem AI. So I'm gonna hit this try now button. So first we have to tell Gem what role are we recruiting for? So in this example, I'm gonna say uh, chief of staff. And then we're supposed to add some specific information you'd like to include in your template. So I prepared some content that I'm gonna just paste in here. And really what I tried to do in this example is provide some information about a fictional company and then provide some information about the role. So like two or three bullets about both would be like a good starting point. And then Gem can help us actually craft the outgoing message. You have the ability to change your tone. Do you wanna use a professional tone? Do you wanna be more casual, humorous, concise? Uh, for this particular outreach, let's go with casual. So once you've entered your bullets and you've selected the tone of your message, you just hit this button and you let Gem do the, some magic to help you draft your initial outreach. So you'll see now I have an outreach message, gave me a subject line, and then it drafted a message based on some of the information that I input uh, up above. So this is just a great way to jumpstart your efforts when you're building out a new template for a specific role. You can come in here and tweak this. Uh, you can change the language, you can make additions. Like this is all editable but it just helps with that kind of initial ideation of getting some words on a page. Another cool feature, so this is just the first stage. We all know best practices for sourcing, you wanna have multiple touch points. So instead of having to draft a second stage, I can just generate a follow-up stage with Gem AI. Again, I click try now. And now, in addition to this first stage, uh, Gem is going to draft a second email that references some of the same content that I put in the initial first stage. So it just really accelerates the time uh, that it takes to, to draft these outgoing messages. So I think this is one area where Gem AI is really impactful. Uh, again, you can tweak these messages, but it's just a good starting point and helps you brainstorm. I personally like to switch up the different tones uh, just for ideas uh, in terms of like different ways that I can cater my messaging. So now that we went through how Gem AI impacts creating sequences, I wanna move on to a different area of product where you can use some of our AI features to streamline your process. So I'm gonna switch to a separate tab here. And now I'm working in Gem's inbound app review um, workflow. So just to orient everybody where we're at, we're in talent pipeline. These are all of our currently in process jobs. And we have um, a column of applicants that applied for this job that we need to review. A lot of teams are getting 
a high volume of inbound. We only have 11 inbound applicants for this role, but we have teams that are reporting hundreds or even thousands of inbound applicants. And GEMS inbound application review tool makes it easy to prioritize the resumes that you should review first. And one way we do that is by ranking the applicants based on the number of keywords that are relevant for the particular job that they applied for. If I click on the keywords uh, filter here, instead of having to come up with those keywords by myself, Gem AI has searched across my job description and has suggested keywords based on that job description. So I can add my own keywords. Maybe I also want a developer that has Docker experience, or I can just select from the keywords that are suggested through Gem AI. I can refine these keywords to get more suggestions. But once I have a list that I'm happy with, I can show results. And it's going to take those applicants. Now, of the 11, nine of them had keyword matches. But Evan is showing up here at the top because he has the most matches. And then when we scroll to Evan's resume, we're going to have highlights that show where those keywords are in the profile. So it just really streamlines the process of helping you prioritize your inbound applicants. All right, one final Gem AI feature, uh, and it's also a nice segue uh, because it goes into our third or our second demo on prospect search and rediscovering candidates. So I'm going to switch over to yet another tab. If you aren't familiar with the prospect search module within Gem, it's a super powerful feature. It allows teams to search not only across all of the candidates that you've prospected through Gem, but also all of the inbound uh, candidates that have come through your ATS. So we're combining both databases of candidates from the ATS and prospects from Gem and allowing you to search across those individuals uh, for retargeting or nurturing efforts. So one thing we do to try to make it easier to surface relevant candidates is we built some saved searches. And these are groups of prospects or candidates that teams often like to re-engage. One of those saved searches is for silver medalist. So I can see in our instance of GEM, we wanna look for all previous candidates that have come through our ATS that declined our offer or we rejected them because we preferred another candidate and they had at least 50% positive scorecards. Within prospect search, I can modify our definition of what is a silver medalist. I could add additional rejection reasons. I could say, hey, I only wanna see people that reach the on-site stage or further. Maybe I wanna change this from at least 50% positive to at least 75% positive. But one of the filters that is especially impactful is this last in process. If we're re-engaging folks, we probably don't wanna reach out to anybody that's been in process within the last few months. So we're able to change this filter to say, hey, I only wanna see silver medalists that haven't been in process in the last three months or six months or 12 months. So I'm gonna just do 12 months. And you'll see this number goes from 1100 to just over a thousand. So now we have a thousand folks that had positive scorecards and they declined our offer or we rejected them because we preferred another candidate, but they still might be a good fit for, the, for a particular role. Here's where Gem AI comes in. Let's say I only, I'm looking to prospect for a particular role that is really important to the company's growth or it's an evergreen role. What I can do is I can use Gem AI to build a Boolean search that's gonna search across the resumes of these 1000 folks so that we're only surfacing candidates that are applicable to one of our open job racks. So when I click on Gem AI, I could give, I could search for a job title. So let's say we do a sales development rep. It's gonna pull in my job description from the ATS. And when I hit generate search, it's gonna build a Boolean search that's looking for of those 1000 silver medalists, how many of them are going to be relevant to our job? We have 231 uh, individuals 
that are relevant to the job description that we input. And we can see that Boolean in more detail here. Again, you can tweak this. You can change the nature of the Boolean search that JMAI generates, but it's just saving you some time. Uh, it's looking across resumes, seeing if the candidate's information matches the job description by building this Boolean out. So if you wanted to change it, you could come in here and edit the Boolean string. But now I have 231 folks that are silver medalists. We haven't been in contact with them in the past six months. They got positive scorecards. Now let's say I want to do something with these folks. We can also save this as a search. So let's say this is um, SDR silver medalist. And this is going into the next power user demo. The ability to, to create automated talent pools. So maybe this SDR role is a role that is evergreen. We're really scaling up our sales organization. We need to hire all the BDRs, all the SDRs, and we want to have an ongoing pipeline of these individuals with this skill set. What we can do is create a project for um, let's say sales or SDR talent pool, silver medalist. Now, since this project does not exist yet, I'll just create it quickly. And now what happens is anytime somebody meets this criteria in the future, there could be a lot of great SDRs that are in our pipeline, but they interviewed within the last six months. So they're not showing up in this current search. Jem's going to check our system uh, on a daily basis. And when new prospects or previous candidates meet the criteria that we've defined in the search, they'll be automatically routed into that project that we just created. In addition, uh, you also have the ability to automatically send out a sequence to those folks. So if you were routing them to a project, whoever created that project is gonna get a notification. Five new people have been added to your SDR talent pool. If we wanted to further automate things, we could automatically kick off a sequence to those same individuals when they're added to the project. Hey, it's been six months since we last reached out. Everybody on our team really loved you, but you know you didn't move forward uh, for whatever reason. We'd love to we'd love to reengage the conversation, or how are you doing in your in your new role? So you could ki automatically kick off a sequence uh, based on some of these project automations that you set up in addition to routing folks into a project. So now that we've done our Gem AI demo, we've talked about routing automation. The third and final power user demo is gonna be focused on a reporting use case uh, with specifically with custom groupings. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to this tab. So for this final demo, we're in the settings here, uh, in the team settings under the customization section. This is something that only uh, team admins will have access to. And this feature is typically one that uh, talent leadership or rec ops is leveraging just to give a little bit more reporting flexibility. So with GEM, traditionally when you're reporting in GEM, you're filtering data based on the fields that already exist in your ATS. Things like office or department, uh, certain job filters. With custom groupings, you're able to create unique groupings of fields within your ATS data to report on things with more flexibility. So let me give you a, a few examples. One example might be you have 37 different offices all across the country, but you want to create a roll-up for all of those offices in the Southeast. You could create a custom grouping, call it regions, and we would select our offices tab. Now we only have four offices, 
But if you add 37, you could create your Southeast region and then pull in all of the offices specific to the Southeast. And then if you wanted to do a report on diversity breakdown in the Southeast, or you wanted to see your pass-through rates across all of your roles in the Southeast region, uh, this custom grouping would enable you to do that. At GEM, one way we do this is uh, rolling up our departments. So for example, uh, we have custom teams. So within our go-to-market org, we have enablement, we have marketing, we have sales, we have customer success. So these are all departments that we rolled up into GTM. Uh, similarly, uh, we have engineering, product, and design. We have uh, GNA. So we created these larger buckets to group together specific departments. And the way that this shows up in product, when I'm in a reporting module, whether that's dashboards or pipeline analytics, I can leverage custom groupings as a filter. So here I selected that custom teams. There were certain departments that we didn't group, so they're showing up ungrouped. But now I can see pass-through rates for my go-to market org, my engineering product and design org. And then I can do breakdowns as well. For example, if we wanted to see how different uh, diversity groups are passing through the funnel under these different department roll-ups, I could choose a breakdown to see how um, those with uh, di from different genders are passing through at each stage of the process grouped by the custom teams that we have outlined. So this is really powerful for giving some reporting flexibility. Uh, you can also create filters for things like uh, diversity groupings. So if I wanted a URG group, I could select uh, different race, ethnicity and include them in the URG bucket and then apply that URG filter to dashboards or pipeline analytics. This is a super powerful tool. I just really scratched the surface of what's possible here, but all of these power demos are just to get your wheels spinning on what's possible with GEM. For some of the GEM power users that wanna lean into these features, uh, they can really take your recruiting org to the next level. So I appreciate everybody's time uh, today and looking forward to partnering with some of you on uh, rolling out some of these uh, power features.